Welcome back to a brand new PTG live video to be showcasing the Dragapult EX deck that recently took first place at the Dark Mud Regionals. So with that being said, let's get into the deck list. Let's see which cards we'll be running. So we do run the three copies of a Dragapult EX and it does have that really, really good attack, the Phantom Dive for a Fire and a Psychic Energy. We can do 200 base damage. Plus, we can put six damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way we like. So we will be combining this with the Dust Noir line as well for extra damage. We do have the du two Dust Skull, the one Dust Clops for that ability Curse Blast, where we can knock out this Pokemon and then put five damage counters on any one of your opponent's Pokemon, as well as the one copy of the Dusk Noir, which has the same ability, but with Dusk Noir, you get to put 13 damage counters on any one of your opponent's Pokemon if you knock this out. For our draw support, we do run the one copy of the Fizandipity EX. If we had a Pokemon knocked out, knocked out last turn, we can use the ability flip the script and draw three cards for this. We also have the two copies of the Rotom V for that instant charge ability. We can draw three cards and then your turn does end after you use this ability. Moving on to the trainer cards for our stadium cards, we just run the one copy of the Temple of Sinnoh, which will shut down all special energies in play, so very useful against the Lugia V-Star matchup. For our supporter cards, we do run the four copies of Arvin, where you can search out an item card and a tool card with Arvin. We have the one boss's orders for gusting up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. The one copy of Crispin, where you can search out two basic energies of different types, and then you can attach one of those, and the other one goes into your hand. And then we also do have the two copies of Iono for draw support and disruption, and the one copy of Roxanne. For our tool cards, we do have the one copy of the Far Seal Stone, which will be our V-Star power. We can attach this to one of our Rotom Vs, and then we can search out our deck for any card and put it into our hand. We have the one copy of Rescue Board. For our Ace spec, we do have the Sparkling Crystal where we can attach this to a Terra Pokemon, which will be Dragapult EX. And the attack cost for that Pokemon will go down by one energy. So we can use the Phantom Dive for just a single Fire Energy or a single Psychic Energy. And then for our Energy cards, we just have the three uh, Psychic Energies and three Fire Energies. So those are all the cards in this deck that I want to talk about. And let us see how it'll do in the matches. So they have us go first, which I don't mind. Let's see, it looks like this could be a mirror match. No, it looks like it's curly in. Three mulligan cards. I'm attached to the basic. Mm. Yeah, I already got a dust skull. Let's just get two more drapey here. And chances are we're not gonna need a temple of Sinnoh. I'm gonna get rid of that in the Iona for the Rotom V. Let's instant charge. Wow, we even get the Dragapult down, or we draw it with the Rotom. So, we're sitting pretty good here. They do get Buddy Poffin. Are you serious? They use Iono. I was expecting Arvin, but here we are. They play Secret Box. So this isn't too good. That's because we lost the Arvin. So... Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Maybe you can Ultra Ball for Wonder Cloak. See what we can get here. But we definitely don't need the Nest Ball. Or even maybe the Crispin. We can probably let go of the Crispin even also. But yeah, we had just such a perfect hand. It was unbelievable. So they nest ball for the Mimikyu. They play Artisan. So I'm guessing they're getting another Ralts here. Yeah, and they get pretty much the most ideal turn that they can get here. TM Evo, they get two Curlias. Pretty much a perfect turn for Gardevoir. Wow, that is pretty good, actually. We got the rare candy. What were the odds of that? Hmm... I think we'll get rid of Roxanne here, actually, fortunately. Get the Dragapult. Let's play Crispin. We need a Psychic Energy, so... We'll put the Fire one in our hand. Should we put it on Mimikyu here? No, I'm probably gonna put it on Curlia's. Cause I feel like we still do have boss in hand. If they try to wall us out, we do have that. Nice, it's your cloak. Yeah, they go right into Mimikyu here. Oh wow, what is the odd what are the odds of that that they got the dark energy? It looks like they're running the Gardevoir from Baltimore that got first place. They research. That is pretty perfect right there. They only had a handful of cards and one of them was a Dark Energy and Research and I guess the Arvin. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be moving damage over to Dragapult. They got three energies in a discard pile, which isn't too bad for Gardevoir. That's basically half of their energies for the deck. They only probably run like seven, I think. They Buddy Poffin. They get the Drift Flume. So I'm a little concerned here. Makes me think they got the Gardevoir and they're ready to rock and roll, actually. Yeah, they do have the Bravery Charm. Countercatcher for the Rotom V. So the Countercatcher is not too big of a deal, yeah. So even with the Mimic Q, they go for Countercatcher here. Let's get the Dracloak then. Let's see what we can find. I guess we'll just get the Rotom V since we can discard it with the Earth Vessel. And... Yeah, I really want to boss up the... the Drifloom there. I feel like that's the only play really to make, honestly. Get 
Get rid of that bravery charm. Let's see, rare candy. So we could use Dust Skull and take a knockout on one of their Pokemon. See, they play Earthen Vessel. They get rid of Boss, so... Yeah, they get two Psychic Energies. So I'm pretty sure that's all their Psychic Energies. They get... No, they probably have two more in the deck. Or one more. They use Refinement. They use the both Psychic Energies, yeah. They play Night Stretcher for the Drift Loom. I'm hoping they don't find the other Bravery Charm. Because they didn't take a single prize card yet. I'm hoping maybe one Bravery Charm is prized. Yeah, there's a Drift Loom back again. They attach energy. Yeah, they're retreating uh, into Drift Loom. And yeah, they put damage on the Dracloak. They play Arvin. Yeah, they move the damage over from Mimikyu here. Yeah, they do have the other Bravery Charm. What are the odds? If we can get something like Radiant Alakazam, we could technically just move it over to knock out the Drifloom. Because chances are they're going to go for the full 300 damage, of course, to knock us out. And Drifloom will only have 20 HP remaining. So, let's see. Yeah, see, they thought they couldn't get away with just 80 damage, 8 damage counters. But they do need all 10 to do 300 here. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's go into Dracloak. Dust Clubs. Iono. Hmm. That could work. Let's play Artisan just to get rid of Artis. Just to get another Pokemon out. Actually, no. We kind of want that Helikazim, actually. Let's go for the Iono here. Let's see, let's go for the Recon Directive. Nice, Fizz Antipody, that is basically what we need. Draw three cards for that. Mm. You know what I'm thinking also, let's get her the counter catcher. Yeah, I guess just to get the last energy, just to thin out the deck a little more. And have this be a little more effective. Flip the script. For a seal stone. 
Yeah, let's get... Hmm. Yeah, let's get Sparkling Crystal, I guess. I feel like that's not too bad. That's our last bravery charm, so I think we should be in the clear here. We didn't even actually use the dust clops, honestly. Completely forgot about that. We could have actually taken out their curlia as well. Well, let's see what they do. I feel like they're kind of in a pretty bad position here. That's because they lost two Pokemon. And both Bravery Charms are used. I'm absolutely sure they only have two Bravery Charms. There's no way you're using more than two for Gardevoir. They use Iona, which is pretty bad. Two cards. Get the Dusk Noir. Screamtail, okay. So they can potentially snipe one of our Pokemon. I'm assuming it's going to be the Dracloak or the Dusclops, honestly. But then again, they don't have any Bravery Charms. Hmm. Yeah, so their damage will be kind of capped with Screamtail. Let's see what they do. I'm absolutely sure they're just going to go into Screamtail, go for the Snipe, and that's it. Let's see, they retreat out. And now with Fizz Antipity, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, they actually concede here. Nice. Okay, they have us go first. That works. But that makes me think they probably have Maridon, Roaring Moon kind of deal here. I feel like if a deck wants to go second, there has to be a good reason for this. So I'm expecting the Roaring Moon, Raging Bull... Some kind of turbo deck. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be the Raging Bolt. Interesting, it's not letting me take the Dreepy here. I'm going to switch out, go for the attract customers. Another Arvin. Send turn. Say they play trekking shoes. Another Raging Bolt there. They play Crispin. So that's definitely a new add-on for Raging Bolt. They can get two energies of two different types. So I'm assuming they got Lightning and Fighting. Yeah, there's the Fighting Energy. Interesting, they just go for the Knockout. They don't even use Squawk or anything like that. Kind of want to get Nest Ball here for a Seal Stone. Get the Fizzantipity here.
Yeah, unfortunately, we could not find the energy there. I'm hoping they don't get five energies they need to knock us out. I feel like it is kind of tough to do that, even for Raging Bolt. They attach Bravery Charm, okay? So they attach Return. And I feel like Raging Bolt probably doesn't really use Iona all that much. I'm not expecting that. I'm kind of expecting that they either have the Sada or they're attacking here. Interesting, they do boss us up here. Probably for, yeah, they get the Dust Skull. I flip the script. Yeah, let's attach the energy. Yeah, let's play Arvin, get a Nest Ball. Mm. Maybe not Nest Ball, let's get Poffin and Rescue Board. I'm gonna get more Dreepies down. And a Dust Skull, I guess. Attach the Rescue Board. So we need 40 more to knock out the Raging Bolt in the active. I feel like what we can do is just find the counter catcher and just take the double knockout. Interesting, they do boss us up for Radiant Alakazam. And it's not going to take much for them to knock it out. Two energies, very likely. Another Bravery Charm. And they just go for the Burst Roar here. See, so let's get your cloak. I'm gonna get a switch of Arvin here. Ooh, looks like it is prized. No, we actually already used our switch here. I know, I guess we'll use painful spoons anyways. We don't need 40 damage on Fizzy and Dippity here. Let's use the recon directive. Nice, we get another Dracloak. I'm gonna take the buddy path in. And, uh -huh. Yeah, we'll ultra ball both of those away. Yeah, that's crazy. It looks like the dust clops is prized. What are the odds of that? I'm gonna just get uh, drag a pole actually. 
We'll pass. I feel like there's not much they can do. We can take a double knockout next turn. We'll be all good. That's assuming they knock out Radiant Alakazam or want to. And we got double Dracloak down, so... Should be good. Interesting, they put down Pokestop. But what are the odds that Dusclops would be prized? That is so unfortunate. It's not in the discard pile. Yeah, it's not in the discard. They use Sada, so... Uh, they can't use Boss now, so I'm assuming I'm just gonna knock out the Radiant Alakazam here. See, they Teal Dance. See, they poke a stop. Yeah, they just go for the bellowing thunder. Yeah, they probably know they're gonna get knocked out. Yeah, I'm gonna gust up Fizzy and Dippity there. Use the Recon Directive. Ultra Ball, Arvin. Yeah, we'll just get the one fire energy that we need to attach, and then we'll just use Iono so that they don't have the nine card hand there. Let's use Iono. I don't know, should we Night Stretcher for Alakazam? No, I feel like there's no point actually. At least not now. I'll put 20 there, put 10 on the Ogre Pond, and then 30 on the other Raging Bolt. <laughs> what is that, four prizes? Yeah, there's the Dust Claps that was prized. They go into their Raging Bolt. And all we need to do is just boss up Ogre Pond. They most likely will knock us out. They do have the five energies here. They nest ball for another Ogre Pond. They earth and vessel, so they're gonna get two grass energies here. Pretty sure, yeah, they get two grass. Oh wow, interesting. They use Iono here. That's bad. We do still have the Force Seal Stone in our hand. And interesting, we get Dusk Noir and Arvin. So you know what? We can actually... No way, we can't knock out the Dusk Noir. Because then we would lose. They would take the last prize. We just have to use Arvin for Countercatcher. They gust up the Fizzandipity. Yeah, so they get that instead. So let's just see if the Countercatcher is still in our deck. That's basically the one card we need here.
Yeah, it is there in the deck, and even the Forest Seal Stone. Yeah, and those are the last two prizes. Doesn't even really matter. Let's put the 60 damage on Raging Bolt. Nice. See what was prized. Oh wow, a Dragapult and Dreepy. Nice, we win it. And I said, let's go first here. I feel like with double Rotom V. You know, you can have a pretty uh, strong turn one here. So it looks like it's ready to go Beast Bar. See dust claps. And I'm gonna play Lumine on V just to get a V down. So now we can use the Far Seal Stone. Get the road on. Looks like the other one got prized. I'm gonna just attach the sparkling crystal this turn. Let's get a for instant charge. Hmm. Oh wow, they don't do anything, they just ended their turn. Let's get a rare candy. Rescue board. It's the only other tool card here. Yeah, we just don't have to go for the instant charge here. There's a nerf and vessel finally. Let's see, they do teal dance. So it looks like they didn't even get the squawk of Billy on their first turn, which they drew a card, ended turn, did nothing. This really has to be a very unlucky starting hand for them. Let's see, they can use Legacy Star now. Pretty bad Legacy Star, honestly. They didn't get a single dragon off of that. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick game. They're either going to just concede pretty quick here, or... Because they already have kind of a really bad setup. The energy switch. Or a bad startup for the first turn. Yeah, they switch out into Ogre Pen. Okay, they research. That's something. Wow, they researched three dragons away, so that's what happened. Their starting hand was just full of dragon Pokemon. They get another Ogre Pond Teal Mask, so... Yeah, that was a bad starting hand for them. Three dragons all just... in their starting hand. Let's see, they Ultra Ball. I wonder what they got with the, the two cards they got back with Legacy Star. 
They got the research and the grass energy off the Legacy Storm. The Ultra Ball for another Reggie Trago V. Yeah, they just pass. Here, let's rescue board out of here into uh, into Dragapult. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get rid of the Iono here. We're not gonna need that. Get a drag cloak. Got a little draw support. So let's see what we can find. Temple of Sinnoh. Yeah, Temple of Sinnoh's not gonna do anything here. Try and put all the damage on to Reggie Trago V Storm. Yeah, and um, they Ultra Ball the last two cards in their hand for the Lumineon V. The only time they're probably going to get research here, because I don't think Drago V Star really runs all that many IO no. Yeah, they do get the research. Yeah, they just about mill through most of their deck. Yeah, they got the two Dragapults, the Gudra, the Raging Bolt. I feel like the only other dragons they can possibly have will be the Kyurem and Haxorus or Noivern, depending on their playstyle. My Earthen Vessel. So they're probably gonna get the fire energy here. And it looks like they're probably gonna knock us out, honestly, with the, um, with Raging Bolt's attack, because they do 350 for 5 energies. They definitely will have 5 energies in play. They already got what? Yeah, they already got 5 in play here. So, they attach the Fire Energy. So I'm assuming they're probably gonna... Nah, they can't use Turo or Penny here. So they're gonna have to retreat out normally. Yeah, let's see if they get the knockout. They do retreat out, so... Yeah, they're gonna take Regidrago V-Star. Yeah, they go for the Apex Dragon. So yeah, they do have five energies in play. They could just knock us out with the Raging Bolt. Discard all their energies. Hmm, interesting.
So then you went for the Gudra's attack. Let's use a recon directive here. No, I'll take the Dragon Pole. Nah, I think we'll get rid of this Quaps here. Kazam is in the deck. It is. Yeah, we'll move one damage counter over for the Ogre Pond knockout. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of done here. There's not much they can do. See, so they go for the teal dance here. Especially now they're gonna have to dig up another fire energy just for even a chance to attack their active Reggie Drago. Oh, never mind, there it is. So we got another counter catcher. We're still in a pretty good spot here. Even if they get the energy switch here, we should be good. They got Hero's Cape over there. So that does change the dynamics a little bit here because I got a whole lot, a hundred more HP to work with here. Yeah, interesting. They do put the Hero's Cape on their Reggie Drago Vista on the bench. They do put down Mimikyu as well. Let's see. So we still have the one boss left in our deck, but we can use Countercatcher and gust up the Ogre Pond and knock out the Reggie Drago V Star. So they basically will lose next turn. There's like nothing they can do here. Especially it's very likely likely they'll probably go for the Gudra attack again. So Yeah. Oh no, they're actually going for Dragapult attack. So we even put six damage counters on our Pokemon. See, they put one on the Fizendipity. I'm assuming they'll put the other five on, yeah, Dragapult. Yeah, 
Okay, it looks like they're saving a damage counter for a different Pokemon. But yeah, they should... <laughs> we should get the double knockout next turn. Yeah, we even get boss here. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. Yeah, that's a double knockout. All four prizes, or the last four. There we go. See what we get. Okay, there we go. There's a drag cloak in the prize stack. Well, those are all the games. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.